and making a difference for the children when mom is on the front lines. Nightly News begins now. From NBC News World Headquarters in New York, this is NBC Nightly News with Brian Williams. And later, making a difference for kids who sometimes have to grow up too fast because mom or dad is serving their country. And next up here for us, a toy story unlike any other. It's making a difference for military kids who could use something good right about now. Finally tonight, our Making a Difference report. This one from the home front. When an American serves in uniform, that's half the sacrifice. The other half is at home, especially for their children, like the ones you're about to meet who often go months waiting for a parent to come home. Tonight, NBC's Ann Thompson reports on some folks who bring joy to kids who could use some. It could be any summer fair with face painting, ring toss, and rock climbing. But this is for military families in the Norfolk, Virginia area, with a very special toy giveaway at the end. We're hoping for 5,000 children, and based on this line, I think we're going to get it. Slurping snow cones are four of the Franklin Five. 13-year-old Colin, 6-year-old Jacob, 5-year-old Aiden, and Father Chris. Mom Heather is a first lieutenant in the Army serving in Afghanistan. Can I get hugs and kisses? They've been apart six months now. Aiden and Jacob don't quite grasp the danger. Maybe I just love her. But Colin, the big brother trying to fill in for mom, understands too well. Colin, it's like you're about to cry. What? Why are you crying, honey? What? You miss your mom? I never had him do this before. Since Heather left, Colin marks the days on his calendar. He can't tell you when she's coming home. Just keep track of how long she's gone. It's a fear, a worry, Chris can't make disappear. But events like the toy giveaway can help. It gives them that little distraction, that enjoyment of just getting something, you know, for no other reason than they're just a kid. Under the tents, it looks like Christmas. All donated by the toy industry and distributed by the Boys and Girls Clubs of America. What better way is there to relieve some of this stress than with a toy? They sent toys to 24 bases last year, and this year they hope to bring toys to 31. And so far, they've never run out of toys. Aiden chose a fishing rod, Jacob an action toy, and Colin table soccer. Cherishing a childhood joy, in a very grown-up world. Ann Thompson, NBC News, Virginia Beach, Virginia.